This is the last batch of Gambian pilgrims being flown into the country by Flyners Airlines after successfully conducting this year's Hajj. They are numbering 437. We will just talk to some of these individuals to get their assessment concerning their participation in one of Islam's most important rites. How was it down there, uh, Aja Sukai? It was just that people are tired, you know, the heat over there, and all that we needed to do. Aside from that, no other hitches? It was okay. Everything was under control. You know, there must be difficulties, but we, oh, inshallah, we have overcome everything. Most of the individuals we are speaking to are giving thanks and uh, praises to Allah that they are back, and uh, they are also praying for especially those who did participate in ferrying them out of the country. But we'll talk to a few more. Do you have a message to people out there who perhaps uh, have the notion that Hajj is meant for the middle age or the, the old age? According to my experience, it's meant for uh, a personnel who have uh, strength and power. But uh, you know, it is not easy. It's not easy. But Alhamdulillah, I want to send this message to the people that when they are sending their people, uh, let them try to be in the earlier stage than when they are old age. I'm very happy to come back to Gambia after I performed the, one of the pillars of Islam. I'm very grateful to Almighty Allah for giving me the opportunity and I count it worthy to serve Almighty Allah and I've come back to Gambia now. I believe I have to serve humanity more than before. The President, Gambia Supreme Islamic Council and Hajj Commission member Modul Amin Ture, as well as Deputy Amir al Hajj by Ibrahim Al Hassan Cham, we are thankful to all stakeholders for what to them is another successful Hajj. Aside from health challenges, which a few of our pilgrims suffered, everything was smooth, said Cham, who reiterated that sick people's Hajj can be performed by others so as to avoid such constraints. Immigration Commissioner Pamudundur, who held the participation of his men in this year's Hajj, also stated that teamwork and proper coordination was very crucial. The Hajj this year is a successful one because the coordination done by the GIA, definitely we all stakeholders here, we observe it. It's a very good coordination. The immigration, I cannot blow my trumpet here, but I'm seizing this opportunity to thank them. For GIS officials, including its Deputy Managing Director Salum Malang and Commercial Director Aminatandur, there can be hope of continuity in bettering the institution's Hajj services. This is the first time the number of pilgrims hit more than 1,400. Unlike previous, previous years, sometimes we were forced to cut down you know, on the seats of the aircraft you know, to minimize our losses. Currently, Gambia is the best Hajj operator in the sub-region because we've built and develop competence along the line. As I have said before, uh, we have gathered a lot of experience over the past ferrying pilgrims to and from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I think we have delivered to expectation because we departed on time, uh, not on time, but as schedule, because we had the schedule two months before departure, uh, both the inbound and the outbound flight. Overall, I'm going to say we've done it again, and inshallah next year we'll do a better job. Many other pilgrims, among them Al Haji Bajan of Tubakuta, Aja Aisatu Bojang of Bikama, and Ndai Sohna Sala of Serekunda, thanked and praised Allah for successfully fulfilling their Hajj obligations. They, like many others, also prayed for the betterment of the country as well as the well being of their families and loved ones. Modu Bajan, GR.